and welcome back to Cards by Kendra. It's time for a new quarterly card challenge. And this time we're making 15 cards using six sheets of six by six pattern paper. There is a free PDF with cutting templates and card sketches that I have posted on my website, which I will link in the description box below. So once you make your cards, you can post your pictures on social media using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 2, and then you can enter to win some prizes. So if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so that you won't miss any of the videos. Here's a picture of the cutting templates for all six sheets of paper. Um, you'll notice that A and B are the same. However, they do have different numbers on the largest piece. I really wanted to focus on the pattern paper this time rather than having a bunch of little tiny pieces. And so I tried to maximize some of the larger pieces on each of the sheets. So you'll notice that there are a few gray, gray pieces. Those are going to be scraps. So if you can find a use for them and make another card with your scraps, awesome. Include it in the picture. The cards that I'll be sharing with you today were made with the Pink and Mains Hooray Crafty Courtyard Kit. Now, I did not show the process of the whole thing this time, but these are the six sheets that I pulled out of the paper pad that was included in the kit. And so I'm going to share with you how I cut each of these just to kind of save you some <laughs> aggravation because initially whenever I went to cut this, I'm like, no, I got to make sure I cut off the bottom. So I'll give you a couple of tips for each of the cutting templates. So you want to make sure that you cut off that bottom piece first and then you can trim it down at each of the measurements that are shown on the cutting template. Now there are two pieces that are pretty small and these go with um, I can't I think it's the last card sketch card sketch 14 but you'll want to cut it in half eventually I didn't hear in the video but you'll see that whenever you go to put that card together you'll have to have a piece sticking out on each side of one of the frames so this is for paper B and so you want to make sure that you cut that bottom piece off first same as the last one like I said these are both the same a and B are both the same um, but you're going to use the largest piece for card sketch 9 and then for for B here you'll use it for card sketch 11. I forgot to cut off that little half inch piece from my cutting template A so that's what I'm doing here. So for your third sheet of pattern paper which is I'm going to call C. <laughs> The first thing you want to do is cut it directly down the center and then you can cut down those smaller pieces. So the left hand side, there's a three inch by three inch square at the top and then you can trim down the rest. Now I just got this Tim Holtz Tonic Studios guillotine trimmer and so I'm trying to figure out the best way to use it. At first, I thought cutting it at the top would be better, but then I decided to try it here at the bottom, and I, th I think I have a little bit more control by placing it along that bottom edge there. Okay, so for paper number four, or D as I'll call it, you wanna make sure that you cut off that right hand side. And again, here on this video, I did not cut off those two smaller pieces for card sketch number 14, so you will wanna do that. But once you cut off that end, you can cut off these other long, longer rectangle pieces. And you wanna make sure that you're cutting it on the right side, otherwise your pieces will be too long. I struggled to get this piece out of here because of this clear plastic piece that's on this trimmer, but um, I am loving this trimmer. Now, I did make some additional cards using a different paper pad when I was actually developing this challenge, and so I will share those with you here at the end. Now, this is for your next paper, which is cutting template E. You're gonna to wanna to cut this one directly down the middle and then you can cut the remaining pieces. And just remember those shaded pieces are gonna be scraps. 
If you can find a use for these scraps and make another card with them, awesome. I would love to see it, so just add it to your picture. With these particular patterns, I couldn't really figure out how to make that work and make it look good. But if you can do it, I would love to see it. Now for the last piece of paper, this is F, and I really loved the diagonal cut from the last challenge, so I decided to use that again, but I just changed up the other pieces a little bit. And so first thing you wanna do is of course cut off that two inch piece on the left hand side, and then um, once you trim down the bottom part off of the, the piece that I'm now gonna be cutting diagonally, then what you'll do is you'll line up the corner of the top and the bottom of directly where the blade is going to be. Now this was a little trickier for me using this guillotine. Um, with my Fiskars, I can put it and see exactly where the wire is and where it's gonna cut. So I did cut that one off a little bit crooked, but that's okay. So what you wanna do now is sort out all of the pieces that you've cut down into the stacks by number for each of the card sketches. I like to use these clear cellophane sleeves and then put sticky notes on them with the numbers. Now you will need some additional colored cardstock for making frames for some of those pieces. Plus you'll need some heavyweight cardstock for your card bases. You will also need some items to decorate your cards with. So here, now that I have all of these pieces sorted out by number, I'm gonna go ahead and match up each of the pieces that I cut down that require frames. I'm gonna use this cardstock that came in the kit along with some cardstock that I have in my stash, and I'm gonna make the frames that are needed. Now I've already stamped out the images from the Crafty Courtyard kit onto some paper. I did this quite a, I did quite a few and then I'm gonna cut those out using the dies that came in the kit, and I'm also gonna use the embossing folder for a few of the backgrounds. Now I put the cards together off camera, but here are my finished results. This is card sketch number one, and I stamped out the image in some matching ink, and I also put the sentiment on there. This is card sketch number two. I used the Hooray Shadow die set that comes in the Crafty Courtyard kit along with a little present there. This is card sketch number three. And I stamped out the little bike in some of that, I think it's called Coastal Cabana ink. This is card sketch number four. Now I did use a thanks word shadow die set from my stash. And I'll link all of the products that I use in the description box below in case you're interested. This is card sketch number five. And I added that happy birthday word die set from pink and main on top this is number six and i ended up gluing this down upside down so i had to switch the pattern a little bit this is card sketch number seven and i um, embellished that with some of the sequins that came in the kit at, on, along the top this is number eight and i just added that little ice cream cone that i colored with some copic markers this is card sketch number nine. Now for this one, I did add some twine. I made a bow and stuck that down there in the middle. And I also added some enamel dots that came in the kit. This is card sketch number 10. And again, I colored the ice cream cone with some Copic markers. And the sentiment there says, treat yourself. This is number uh, 11. <laughs> now I decided not to use the cardstock strips that I have on the sketch. I thought it took away from it, so I just decided to leave those off. Now this is the next card sketch. I did use a sentiment strip from Simon Says Stamp for that one. This is card sketch number 13. It's probably my favorite. Um, I used the embossing folder for the background on that one. And then this is card sketch 14. I had to switch it, turn it around the other way, but this is where you're gonna take those pieces that you've cut in half and have one end sticking out of the one side and then the other sticking out on the other side. And then of course here is the other card that I made using card sketch number 13. I just used the other side of the paper. So here are all 
15 of the cards that I made using the Hooray Crafty Courtyard Kit from Pink and Main. I think they turned out pretty good and I've got a good variety of different types of cards that I can send out to people. So now I want to share the cards that I made using the Echo Park All Boy Collection paper pad along with the chipboard accents and their puffy stickers. This is the set that I used to create the challenge and so you'll notice that some of these cards are a little bit different. I did make a few changes before I actually put it into the computer and created the sketches but this is these are the two cards that i made using card sketch number one and this is card sketch number two and notice how i added that big tree house there this is card sketch number three i think this one's super cute with the little shark it says you're looking sharp and it says happy birthday hot stuff and here's another card that i made um like i said i did make a few changes to the challenge but um this is card sketch number four, and I did change the size of that big, um, <laughs> well, that the scooter sitting on that big white piece. This is number five, and then this is number six. And because my pattern paper, I had to trim that middle piece down just a little bit because it was showing images that I didn't want on there. And here's another one that I made using this card sketch. And you'll notice how both of these I had to turn the other way. This is number seven. And I made two of these also, and I decided to shorten up um, some of these pieces with this particular card because I wanted this image to be able to fit at the bottom. And I believe this is card sketch number eight. I used the chipboard accents and then um, a little stamp up there for the circle that says happy birthday to you. This is card sketch number nine. And I think I'm going to add a sentiment there on that green strip. This is card sketch. 11. Now you'll notice I did skip over card sketch 10 because at this point I had not developed it yet. This is card sketch number 12 and I did have to turn this one to be landscape. And because at the time the, these were the papers that I had left over, this one's similar to card sketch 5. Now I don't have cards using this collection here for card sketches 13 and 14 because at this point I had not created them yet. But here are all of the cards that I made using the Echo Park All Boy Collection. And I needed some more masculine cards in my stash, so I think these turned out awesome. You can find my free PDF file on my website at cardsbykindred.com under Card Challenges. Now, after you create your cards, you want to post your creations on social media using the hashtag Kendra's Card Challenge 2 and then you can enter to win one of three prizes. Now this is a quarterly card challenge that begins April 1st, and the deadline for entries is June 30th of 2021. Of course, there are endless possibilities that you can use these card sketches for. Use your paper pads that you love. If it has 24 sheets in it, you can actually make 60 cards with your paper pad if it has 36 sheets that's 90 cards that's a lot of cards but make them your own use whatever stamps you like whatever embellishments you like and i can't wait to see your creations you can find additional card making inspiration on my facebook instagram and pinterest pages as well as my website now please leave a comment down below and let me know how you found this video today thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful crafty day